Welcome to a new school year, everyone, and it's going to be a great year. We're going to pick a new president, and we're going to have a better football team. And at IFAS, we'll welcome our first preeminence hires and fill a significant number of faculty positions. I can't tell you how glad I am you're part of our team. Our research, teaching, and extension missions are so successful because of what you do. We've been celebrating the centennial of extension this year. One of the primary ways the University of Florida remains relevant on a daily basis to people all over the state. It's what makes UF the local university in all of our 67 counties. IFAS itself turns 50 this year. Of course, our teaching, research, and extension functions go back far beyond that. But it was in 1964 that E.T. York pulled together those then separate functions in recognition that we could do more together than we could apart. The folks in our Belglade Research Center also celebrated a centennial this year. It was the 100th birthday party for a professor emeritus who still shows up at the office every day, 27 years after he retired. Victor Guzman still drives to the office, still takes the stairs to the second floor, and still tries to fulfill the marching orders he was given by the man who hired him way back in 1952. Go down to the glades and solve the problems of the farmers. We've got exciting newcomers too. IFAS is the leader of two of the research initiatives UF is investing in as part of its drive towards recognition as a top 10 public university. One is in plant genomics, where we use DNA screening in the lab to figure out which plants are the most likely to be disease resistant, drought tolerant, tasty, and knock years off the trial era of work in the field. Another is the food systems hub, where, where we will bring together plant geneticists, pathologists, engineers, and data wonks to figure out how are we going to feed 9.6 billion people by 2050. We aim to be one of the top five institutions in the world in food systems. Also this summer, I started talking with UF health leaders about the role IFAS can play in protecting public health. If a new Diabetes Institute gets approval this fall from the Board of Trustees, IFAS may play an important role in ensuring that the Institute's discoveries reach people to help them manage or prevent this terrible disease. We've got 850 newcomers in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, about 450 freshmen, and 400 transfer students. The class of 2018 arrives at UF with an average high school GPA of 4.4. And all of them, Cal students or not, are expected to read The Good Food Revolution and will hear from its author, Will Allen, at their orientation. I also want to mention a special recent graduate. This summer, we graduated a bachelor's degree recipient from our Department of Family and Consumer Sciences, who's older than me. John Anderson fought in Vietnam, and in August he achieved his lifelong dream of getting a UF degree. Now we have the prospect of a huge booster shot to the research efforts we lead to combat citrus greening, the bacterial disease that threatens to bring down the state's $9 billion citrus industry. We're already throwing a team of great minds at this but $125 million dedicated exclusively to citrus research in this year's federal farm bill presents us an opportunity to accelerate our work in this race against the clock. Now as faculty and staff, you've got a tough act to follow because they're your own stellar achievements that you're building upon. Combine that with the high expectations we have for the coming year, and you can see the bar has been set pretty high. I'll be asking a lot from you to make life better for all Floridians. That's why I'm so glad we're on the same team, because I know I can depend on you to come through. We've been through some tough budgetary challenges these past few years, but we can now see the promise of brighter days ahead. Thank you for all you do for IFAS, for Florida, and for the world.